guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you in Blender 2.83 how to use the lattice modifier. Now this is a super useful um, modifier. We can add a lattice into our scene, add it to the object, and then we can manipulate these points around. That um, that is just kind of like a different way of manipulating our mesh, right? And not only am I going to show you how to do that, I'm going to also show you how to add a rig to a lattice. So if you wanted to, for example, even animate or work in a way where you can easily reset things again after you've uh, manipulated them. This is a really good way of doing it. So I'm going to go through all of that super useful uh, that you can use in a lot of different workflows in Blender and um, a lot of professional Blender, Blender users that I know who do advanced character stuff rely on stuff like lattices um, all the time. So very useful stuff. Let's get into it. Okay, so here I have my shoe model that I will be using. And to add a lattice is really simple. We just go Shift A and we're going to see right under the armature here and right above the empty options is something called lattice. Click on that. And we can now see, and you'd be forgiven for thinking this is a empty, but it's not, it's actually um, our lattice. And we're gonna just go and move it into the middle of the shoe here. So I'm gonna go G, Z, I'm moving mine right up here into the middle, like this. And whatever object you're gonna be using, for example, say for example, you're following along using one of these, it's just the same thing. Just place the um, lattice roughly in the middle. And unlike other things where we go into edit mode to, um, scale things and move things around. We actually want to be working in the object mode of this one because anything that is done in edit mode with this guy will affect um, the modifier. So we don't want to do that. So make sure when you're doing the scaling or anything like that or moving it around, do it inside of the object mode. So now that I have it in the middle here, I'm going to go S, Y. I'm scaling it along the Y, making it about the same length here as my shoe. Then I'm going to go S, X and scale it out along the X like that. You can see, and then you can see here, I need to go S and Z, just scale it up on the Z. And I'm just sim simply trying to make a kind of rough domain that encompasses the object that I'm trying to deform. So I can see for me, in this case, using this shoe, something like this, if I look from the top, I might have to scale it on the X a little bit. Whatever you're working on, it might be a little bit different. But in this case, this is roughly what I need. I would recommend not making it bigger than it has to be, and definitely don't make it smaller than it has to be. So just um, encompassing this shape here is fine. And then what we're gonna do, you can see an option down here called um, the lattice, so object data properties, but this is specifically for the lattice. You can even see it looks like a little lattice, so click on it. And you're gonna come up here to the lattice settings, you're gonna see we have some resolution options here. So what we're gonna do, first of all, is we're gonna come to the V, and we're gonna hit this. So you can see on the V, anything we hit here along the Y axis here, it's where it's gonna be filling in these spaces here with more cuts. So in this case, I'm gonna go up to seven. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the W and this one is gonna be doing it up on what's our Z over here. So our Z axis, right? So I'm gonna click this one and you can see I'm adding in more, but with this one, I'm gonna add in about three, three cuts like that. Maybe uh, I'll add in four. And then the one over here at the top, if we add in another one, we can see one in the middle, but in my case, I'm not really gonna be using that, so I'll just keep that down at two. So here I have some, um, just it's starting to look more like a lattice, as the name implies. So now that I have more of these points that I can use and manipulate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the object that I wanna add, have the lattice effect, select that object, go to your modifiers, and in this case, you can see I've already added it, but I'm just gonna delete it. So I'm gonna go add modifier and I'm gonna add in a lattice modifier. And very simply click here on this drop down option and just go to the lattice. So now this lattice is what's manipulating this. So if I actually grab this lattice and I went S, Y and I scaled it along the Y, you can see it's doing nothing. If I go S, Z, it's not flattening the shoe. So like I said, we have to actually go into our edit mode. And it is at this point where if we were to select any sort of vertices in here, and we were to move them around, we can see they're affecting the mesh geometry here. So in this case, just as an example, I'll um, grab all of these vertices at the front and then I'll go S to scale them and then G and move them forward. So now I can see I've just stretched my shoe in a really funny way, right? And this is a really good way to kind of manipulate things and mold them around without destroying your actual model because you're not coming in here and actually like, um, pulling stuff around, right? That's irreversible, that's destructive. So this is a non-destructive way of kind of editing your geometry. It's really good. But the only issue of it, now that I've moved these around, they're kind of stuck there and I 
you know, it's not like you can keyframe or anything. So I'm going to show you how to add a rig to them. So I'm going to quickly undo that and bring those back. So if these guys all selected here at the front, so for example, I wanted to work around with the nose of the shoe. So I'm gonna select all the vertices that I want to work with or these points here. Then we're gonna hit F3 and we're gonna type in hook to new object. So hook to new and then click hook to new object. And you can see it's added in this little empty. So if we go into our object mode and we select this little empty, these points here are now hooked to that empty, which is really good, which is what we want, right? And now we can come in here to our timeline and we could keyframe this um, if we wanted to on our timeline. So for example, if I selected this empty here and I came to frame one, I can go I into the location key. And then I could come to frame 30, for example, and move it up to here. I can go I and insert a location key, right? Um, but what we could also do, which I'll quickly show you guys, is we can actually, so if I just get rid of these keyframes, we can actually go Shift A, then go to our armature settings and add in a single bone. You can see here, there's the bone, so I'll just scale it up a little bit so you guys can see it. And also just click on the little guy here, go to viewport display and just click in front so we can see it through x-ray. And then if we tab into edit mode, we can grab this bone here and then go shift D to duplicate it, move it forward. And now, so for example, I'll just move this one roughly where this empty is. So it's gonna be over here, maybe scale it down a bit, right? Now we, what we can do is tab back into object mode or go into object mode and then select this little empty here that is our hook and then holding in shift select the armature then you can simply go into pose mode and then select that bone with that bone selected you can go control p and then just set parent to and click on the bone option here now if we grab this we can see we have a way of manipulating um, those points i can even rotate them like this, right? And if I want to clear any of this, say for example, um, you know, later on, I want to come back here and mess, set this all back. I just select the armature here, go into post mode, just select that bone, then hit F3 and type in clear, and then clear post transforms. And now that's set back into place. And you can make as many of these bones and hook as many of these points as you want. So for example, just quickly grabbing the lattice here just to show you how simple and quick it is. I might select these guys at the back, then hit F3 and type in hook to new object, All right? And oops, I had the front ones there selected, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so you can see now I have this guy here, All right? And it's manipulating those points. I could go in and add another bone, just duplicate this guy bring it over here and then do the whole thing again where I go into object mode, then select that point and then holding in shift, select the armature and go into pose mode, then select that bone, go control P and then you can go set parent to bone. And once again, now those are all manipulated here. And that's really simple. So I'm gonna just quickly go back into object mode, select the shoe here. And if we go over to our object, um, our modifiers, you can see here we have the lattice modifier. Now, for example, um, so if I quickly grab this part over here and I just select it, make it its own part, so I'm gonna separate by selection. This guy will now also still have that same lattice modifier, even though it's its own object, it has that own lattice, it has that lattice modifier. But for example, if it didn't, say for example, it didn't have one, you just added a new component, you could just go here add another lattice again, and then just select that same lattice, and now it'll be equally manipulated. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. Trust me when I tell you this, um, this sort of lattice rigging is very important, especially with a lot of like more advanced character stuff, and it does really come in handy. So I would recommend learning this, and um, yeah, if you guys can use this in any of your workflows, definitely let me know, show me some of the stuff you're doing on Instagram, and I hope you guys, um, um, have a good week and stay safe.